Like you're, like you're really hurting me. Like bro, I'm like on the floor, my arm just behind my back, he's gripping me the fuck up. So I'm telling me, telling me he's not moving, so I grab his dick. Like what? I stayed the fuck up in the dick. He like, you really don't. That just got him even more mad. Like females, advice do not grab his dick. And he the argument, you know what I mean? So he turned the fuck up, he's throwing me around the bathroom. But I just look up, I see CJ. Like why are you doing this in front of like bro? You don't understand. That shit had me weak. Like nah, like this little like this little boy should not be seeing this. Like, like, you're not literally, like, he's a little boy seeing you putting your hands on a female, my nigga. You know how bad that is? And then me, out of all females, like, bro, you don't understand. That shit had me done for. So after I just keep going, shit's getting worse. And then, like, next you know, this nigga has me choked up on the bed, my nigga. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, imagine looking into somebody's eyes you love, and this nigga's just choking you. And his sister has to walk in the room, pull him off of me. And after that, bro, it just kept getting worse. And I finally, once, once I finally got the house, bro, I had, I had a couple of my stuff with me. I was just outside in the rain. I'm not going back inside. This nigga keeps trying to come outside. He keeps trying to apologize to me. He keeps trying to tell me, let's work, let's, let's work it out. And then I'm like, no, I don't even feel safe. I don't want to go back in. Like, but, bro, you know how much worse it can get if I go back inside? Like, I don't know what else you can do. You can do that to me, my nigga. You can do anything to me. You don't love me. That's not love. The fuck? That's not love. What's good, y'all? Um, I wasn't going to like say anything. I was just gonna let y'all read during this video. But um, you know, people are saying they don't believe Savvy because she has like a real bubbly personality, and she seems like the type that tries to put things behind her as fast as possible and move forward as fast as she can. This is just what I read off of her. She also seemed much happier when she got out of the relationship with Chris. So um, if you guys are wondering if I believe her, I must say I do. Because she is the fourth female and the details, you guys got to pay attention to the details that each of these women are telling when saying that Chris put his hands on them. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to keep this video too long. I just want to know what y'all think in the comments. And also, if you don't believe any woman, any woman who tells you that she's been beat by a man, if you don't believe them, the, the, the best thing you could do is just turn away from the story and don't say anything to them because beating them down even more by telling them that they're lying that's just worse you know what i mean that just makes a person feel worse and yes people have took their own lives over situations like this not saying that she would but i'm just saying people have everybody's not as strong as you you see what i mean all right y'all so let's talk about this man this shit is crazy wait especially when she said he was doing it in front of baby cj in front of little cj that's the part right there it's all terrible, but to do it in front of a child, which is something that a lot of men are out here doing, they put their hands on a female, they don't, they could care less how many children are in the house or how many children are looking at them. I have someone in my family who recently told me that this happened. And this is a, a child who told me that she's seen her mother getting her hands put on and, you know, and he didn't stop when she was standing there yelling, stop. She was yelling out, stop it, real loud, and he continued. So, like, this is just an ongoing thing with men who don't know how to communicate. And, of course, this stems from childhood. This stems from them seeing their mother being abused or either them seeing um, a lack of communication in their household. This is the way people will communicate. They act like animals instead of verbally communicating. They want to put their hands on each other. So it's always a deep-rooted issue. No, it's not okay. No, there's no excuse. I just think it's good to understand where these things come from. So when you get in a relationship with somebody, always ask them about their childhood in the beginning of your relationship. Ask them about their mom and dad's relationship. Is their mom and dad still together? And if they're not, find out why they broke up so that you can get to know who you're dealing with. All right, y'all? So let's talk about it in the comments. If you don't believe her, at least tell me why you don't believe her. And if you do, 
let me know why you do. You know what I'm saying? And if you also know about the story about Queen and um, Chris, let me know in the comments. Because a lot of people are saying that Savvy is the third female, but they're forgetting about Queen. You know what I mean? All right, y'all. So I'm going to end it right here and I will see y'all in the comments. Let's get it. we're going to be talking about breakups what not to do and what to do we're going to be talking about first of all the what should you do first what should you do you should cry it out let your emotions out it hurts i know girl go get you some ice cream and a movie and call your call your friends and be like Girl, he hurt my feelings so much and I just don't know what to do. Can you just come and hold me? Or help me or take me out to the club or something. Okay, number two. Find your hobbies before you were in a relationship. You had, you had things you did when you weren't in a relationship, right? 